Fellas and girls! Hey you guys! I don't know how to sit in this chair. I feel awkward. Why? That's alright. I don't know. But we haven't filmed in about a month. <gasps> but we're back and we're sitting at a distance again. The camera lens is a little bit distorted so it might look like we're closer than we actually are. We're keeping our distance. As you know, normally I'd probably be sitting down with her. But it's just still too risky, you know? Let's address the elephant in the room. Elephant? I'm not going in no room. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. No, the elephant in the room. What elephant in the room? You haven't heard that expression? No. It's just like something that is everyone's thinking about, but no one's addressing. So your haircut is the elephant in the room. Yes, yes. Do you have anything to say about I it? I wanted it real short. So this way I don't have to set it, just wash it. This is like the first time you've had white hair, right? First time. And I think she rocks it, right? Leave a comment. What do you think of my grandma's hair? As you know, it's officially summer in the Northern Hemisphere. And I'm so excited. Are you excited? Do you have any plans? Oh, no. No plans. I don't know what I'm doing. Just wake up, eat, and that's it. Honestly, same. So as usual, our subscribers have a lot of problems. And they're looking at us for help. So today, my grandma and I are going to help solve all of your problems. Oh, yeah. It ain't that easy. We used to do this back in the day a lot, usually in the car. So our people have a lot of problems again. What problems have people? They have issues like with their lives right now and they want us to help. What is the question? Okay, so a boy says that he cares slash loves me, but he doesn't act like it. What should I do? Maybe he's cheating on her. Maybe he's going out with another one. I think actions speak a lot louder than words. So yeah, he says he cares about you, but you could say one thing and then do another thing. How do I tell somebody that I don't want a relationship with them? <gasps> I'm too young yet. I, yeah. I want to shop Just... around. But hey, if you're not going anywhere, you're not going to the store, you're not going anywhere, so how could you shop around? Are you saying shop for a boyfriend? Yeah, for a friend. Is that where you got your husband? You shopped for him? No, I didn't shop for him. Adopt. Don't shop, Grandma. Don't shop. Okay. I just graduated from college as a journalism major. How do I find a job using my major? It's going to be tough to get a job because they're laying off a lot of places. I would say maybe you try to do your own thing. Oh, we're just, this just in, we're getting a phone call. Is it never, from? Never, never. Who is it? Sorry about that intermission. My grandma had to take a phone call from her ex once again. How's he doing? Like, why did he call you again? Oh, he wants to see how we, how I feel. Am I okay? Am I sick? No. I worry way too much about things that shouldn't matter. Me Everything too, sis. Matters. Me There's too. Everything matters. There's always something matter. You gotta try to filter your thoughts, and this is really hard because your brain is just constantly thinking and racing. At least mine is. I don't know. Do you always just? You're always thinking about something, right? Always think. Even when I'm going to bed, I'm thinking. It's like you wish you could just turn it off sometimes. Yep. But yep. You can't. So try to change your thoughts into things that do matter which I know is much easier said than done. I was getting a fork to eat my soup. Soup? Could you imagine? And then I realized I was ugly. How do I solve this? There's something's wrong then if he's using a fork instead of a spoon. We can't help you. No. A fork? Something's wrong. How old is he? Why are you assuming it's a guy, Grandma? Are you saying guys are dumber? Oh. We don't know. We don't know. Oh, they, we don't know. But it probably is a guy because we are dumber. Oh, dear. <laughs> Just swap out the fork with the spoon. That's all. It's not Just... that hard. What to do in retirement? You join this and you join that. You went here. You went there. Just join stuff and go places. Yep. I can't get to sleep because I'm watching your videos all night. Please help. <laughs> videos all night? Um, that would make you tired. Continue. I don't think it's a problem, right? My seven-year-old daughter is always picking her nose. What oh. do I do? Oh, picking her nose. We all pick our noses, she, okay? Let's be she real. For, she got a habit of doing it. That's it. I would say... Um, Just put it... Tell her to take a Kleenex with her. Blow your nose. My life has been so boring. What do I do to make it more exciting? How are you going to make it exciting? I've been trying to figure that out too. I don't yeah, know. there's nothing. Dye your hair. That's pretty fun and it's a good time to do it if you were on the fence about it because you're not going anywhere. That's right. And it's just like add some spice. You're not going anywhere. What should I do if I still don't know what type of career I want to pursue? Whoa. She's 18. When did you know what you wanted to do when you grew up? I knew what I said. All my brothers are working in factories. Let me try it and I love it. To this day, I would go back to it. Work in a factory, you know, problem solved. Yeah. 
you, you, there probably what? aren't too many of these days. No, so. there's not too many. No. A lot of them are closed up. What helped me realize what I wanted to do was internships. My ex keeps texting me and I'm not into it. I would tell him, stop calling, please. You didn't, Grandma, you answered the phone and talked to him for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Put on your red receipts so when they text you, it will just say red and they kind of get the hint of you're not really into it anymore. Or they text you and you could just like the text or ha ha the text. That's my favorite. You just ha ha the text and they just get it. The guy I've been dating for eight months still hasn't said I love you. Oh, whoa. When did you say I love you to your husband? I don't remember. That's years ago. If you want to bring it to the next step, then just casually bring it up or you know, I don't think it has to be a big deal, like some people make it out to be, it's like such an event. Start slow, maybe say love you, and then bring it to like I love you, because the I before love you means like a lot, right? And see his reaction, or her reaction, and take it from there. I have a crush on my mailman. Mailman? I leave a note in the mailbox. Yeah, write a love letter and it's perfect because he'll be at the mailbox it's better than texting someone it's more like intimate right That's right he'll have sure. to open it sure. i have a weird tattoo what do i do just embrace it right it's a memory probably i have a tattoo that is a very last minute tattoo that kind of looks like yeah, a male me. genital organ but you know we all live with it so those are actually all of the problems you're welcome for solving them. I hope we helped a little bit. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. The button's down there if you want to click it. Peace. Peace be with you.